So here's a neat tip. The bottom of this woman's face needs to be finished, but there's not really any room and my page is becoming crowded. So I've torn out a piece of paper from the back of my sketchbook and what I do is paste it in place. This is useful in practical terms, but I can also repeat this as many times as I like. And that means that just as with my painting technique, I have a way to give myself multiple opportunities to get things not right, but just the way that I want them. So one way to avoid fear with drawing and painting is to spend a couple of years learning a process that takes you all the way from a blank canvas to a photographic finish in one straight continuous line. That kind of stuff also makes for great YouTube content too, but it doesn't really make for paintings with soul. The other way to swap fear for fascination is to work with a process that actually embraces mistakes that allows you, whatever level of confidence you're working with, to seek the unexpected in every mark. And because this kind of approach works like human thought, two steps forward, one backward, overlapping, off on a tangent, the end result always seems more human, accurate, almost certainly, but also an expression of how you uniquely see and think about the world. This approach allows for the occasional change of heart, the correction of mistakes, and on-the-job learning. And it's not new. Just look where mistakes and changes of mind got Leonardo da Vinci. Around a decade ago, I spent a lot of time on film sets. Now, I'm not going to mention what these movies were. You would know them if I did. But I wonder, though, instead, whether you might be able to guess what they are from taking a look at some of these drawings. So movie sets are fascinating places. To me, they seem to exist between our reality and the reality we actually see in the movie. They're spaces between worlds. And that means that pretty much everything you look at on a film set seems to hold a strange kind of meaning that lends itself to drawing and painting, like nothing else I've really seen. Also, the time to make a drawing is really limited on a film set, perhaps a couple of minutes between takes. And this is what pushed me to refine that quick ability to look, think and remake by hand with just a few marks. Really, this is about making a record of memory, of witness, rather than a completely recognisable rendition. The end goal here is that the tip of my paintbrush or pencil, what I'm seeing and what I'm thinking end up being in complete accord with one another. Now this is something that very few artists have managed to achieve and I certainly don't credit myself with the full ability to do this yet, but it is a wonderful challenge to be working toward. The point is maybe that the journey is more important than the destination. Now I know that's a cliche, but that's a journey you can enjoy too, as soon as you realize that you can make mistakes. No, scratch that, but you should make mistakes. Now that won't make for good TikTok time-lapse videos. In fact, that's almost the point. This is the antidote. Take a month, a sketchbook, a pen, and a glue stick, and keep it private. Churn over those mistakes again and again and again. Learn from each one until you're unafraid of them. And then you will really start to make progress with your drawing. So that's all for this installment of Painting Lab. Just a few quick tips that I thought might help you approach drawing and painting in a totally new way, which you might know by now is what Painting Lab is all about. So initially I said I was going to get these out every week and I know that there's been a gap of, well, three weeks now on the channel. 
Some of you have been in touch with me and sent me really sweet emails asking actually if I'm all right, if COVID has perhaps affected me in some way or if there's something that means I've given up on running the channel. Well, I certainly haven't, I'm fine. We need to set out on the right foot right from the beginning and that's gonna take a little bit of time. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna take a little bit longer than a week to get each video out over the next few months. Please be patient, thank you so much for your help and support and your wonderful comments and emails. It, it really is a, a tremendous boost and at times this project would not have been possible without your encouragement. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can leave me a comment, hit the notification bell because we are releasing regular content. And if you really wanna climb on board with this experiment, you can go to paintinglab.com, sign up to our mailing list and I will be in touch very soon with news about where this whole project is gonna take us in the future. Good luck with your drawing and painting, and I'll see you next time.